hi everyone welcome back to arduino plc tutorial in this lesson we will look at interlocks and timers with the help of our arduino board looking at a practical example of how interlocks on delay and off delay timers work let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, we will look quickly at our wiring diagram. So basically you will realize we've added a second lamp which is a green lamp. Now let's look at how the wiring is done physically. So you loop from the second terminal also to the next one and then we pick from the second output to the green lamp and then from there to our negative 12 volts okay great we now have with the help of our open plc interface we have a simple logic with input one turning on output one whenever it's pressed and then input two turning on output two whenever it's pressed so basically we are doing a simple turn on without any interlock okay so with this let's download it into our plc and then we will see how this circuit works after which we will introduce interlocks to help us understand how interlocks work okay downloading is done now when i press the first button we can see the first input coming on press the second button second input coming on and then when I press both, they both come on. What if you don't want this to happen? That is when you need to introduce interlocks. So basically interlocks are logic designed to prevent a control system from taking two incompatible actions at once. So to do this, we need to delete this particular point and then introduce a condition which will prevent input one to come on whenever input two is active and vice versa so we need to introduce a contact okay and then we select the exact contact that we need we select this is the auxiliary contact for output one and it needs to be normally closed we position it correctly and then we do same for our first rank as well a normally close contact which is auxiliary contact from output 2 and then we click ok position it correctly and then we wire them quickly connect this to the output connect the first input to our auxiliary contact and then connect it to second output as well great now we press on the Arduino button to compile and now we can click on the upload button to upload onto our board great uploading done when i press the first button first input comes on with my hand on it you can see that you cannot turn the second output on when i press the second button second output comes on and then you can see you cannot turn the second first output on provided the second output is active great to move on we will look at timers quickly now we can find the timers under the standard functions and then we have the t on timer and then t off timer representing on delay and then off delay we drag and drop it onto our platform and then we can see the description of the timer right here okay great what do we want to achieve now we want to introduce this timer into our circuit such that whenever we press on input one output one should delay for five seconds before coming on great and then when output one comes on we want the output two to automatically come on as well so to do this we need to delete the two contact that we added previously and then position the timer which is the on delay timer and then reposition 
the first input contact and then the output as well okay so we connect our first condition with our first input to the input of this timer and then connect the output to the output of our circuit which is our output one we then need to change because we need the auxiliary contact of output one to automatically turn on output two so we change that and then connect this one to output two okay we then need to introduce our preset time to do this we click on the variable tag and then we need to specify the time we say t hash 5000 milliseconds which represents five seconds okay great we position it and then connect it to the preset time input okay great now we'll look at how this circuit will work quickly okay so we have the input connected to the input of the timer whenever it's active the time starts counting when the preset time elapses which is five seconds the output of the timer will be switched on which will turn on our first output now this first output contact will then turn on our second output great we now click on the compile icon the Arduino icon and then click on the upload to upload this code into our board okay uploading done and now when I press the first push button nothing happens I have to hold on for five seconds and then good the two inputs comes on when I release it they go off together I try it again the two output comes on working perfectly great so now we move on and look at our off delay timer just as an on delay timer this will work opposite whenever I receive the inputs it needs to the output comes on immediately and then when it misses the input that is when it needs to delay for a time period before the output goes off so now let's wire it quickly we position it and connect contact to it okay we need to specify the preset time as well so we connect our preset time which is also five seconds okay good now let's look at how it works quickly so when our first timer comes on our output comes on which is output one this output one will then turn on the off delay timer which output will come on automatically to turn on output two and then when we lose that is output one then output two needs to delay for a time period before going off okay so we click on the upload great uploading done so when I press on the first input I need to hold on for five seconds and we can see both output comes on when I release it red lamp goes off but green lamp remains on which is output two for five seconds and then it is off great viewers this brings us to the end of this lesson we've been able to look at interlock and also understand how to apply the on delay and then off delay timer in ladder logic thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye